In this tutorial we'll show some more advanced options on how you can work with materials. As you would have seen from previous tutorials, if you drag a material onto the page, you can then use the scissor tool to cut the material up. And you can choose from different scissor edges, such as the bump edge, and then literally just drag to make a cut on that material. Also with the scissor tool, if I zoom into this corner, you can choose to cut out specific shapes as well. So if I select the scissor tool again, I'll set that back to a straight edge this time, I can choose from any of these preset scissor paths to make punches in any paper that I like. So I'll choose a petal shape, I can drag the petal on here, we can adjust various attributes of the petal by dragging these nodes here. And then once you're happy you can click cut and you can throw away the bit in the middle to leave a hole where that petal was. Now there are some options to make some more complicated cuts from materials. If I zoom out again and drag another material on here. In Scrapbook Artist you can cut materials using any other object you like as the outline for the cut you want to make. So for example if I go to my embellishments here I might want to cut this material out in the shape of a butterfly, for example. So I can drag a butterfly embellishment onto my material, choose what size I want it, and then what we need to do is select both the material and the butterfly, and you can do that by holding shift. So the butterfly is already selected, and I'm now holding shift and then clicking the background material there. With both objects selected, you can then go to the Arrange tab at the top, choose Join, and then Intersect. And as you can see, that's now cut that material out in the same shape as the butterfly. And you can literally do that with any shape of embellishment that you like. And you can then move this paper butterfly around, resize it, rotate it, in exactly the same way that you would do with a normal embellishment. Now you can also do this the other way around. If I zoom back into this corner piece here, and bring my butterfly on again, this time I actually want to punch the shape of the butterfly out of the background material. So again, I can choose how big I want to make this punch. I can rotate the butterfly beforehand. And then again, by holding down Shift and clicking on the other object, I then go to Arrange, Join, and this time, click on Subtract. And you can see now, that butterfly shape has been punched out of the material. Now the great thing with this is that you can actually apply these techniques to any object on the page, including photographs. So, if I was to drag a photo onto the page, I could then bring another embellishment on, for example this cloud from the blustery spring pack, choose where I want to take my cut, and then again, by holding on shift, select the photo and the cloud together, and then go to arrange, join, and intersect. And as you can see, now it's actually cropped that cloud shape away from the photo to give a really nice border effect. Now the final thing to mention is you can also use these techniques with text. So if I bring another sheet of material on, now if I choose my text tool I can actually write some text here. Again I can move this around and resize it, change font if I wish as well, and then again by selecting the text and then holding shift to select the material as well, clicking on arrange, join and intersect and now it's cut that text out of the paper so we've now got text made out of paper. And the great thing is with any materials that you cut or photos that you cut the shadow tool and everything else works in exactly the same way. So if I bring my shadow tool on I can apply shadows to all of these objects and it picks the outline of them perfectly for us.